We open the show, however, with the news and the Harbaugh thing to the Chargers might just be happening. That man, Jim Harbaugh, who won the national championship at Michigan a couple of weeks ago, who took the Niners to three NFC championship games and won Super Bowl in four years, really one ill-advised timeout away from beating his brother and winning the Lombardi. That guy could be working across the street from us. Let's get the latest. Tom Pelissero, Mike Garofolo join us now on NFL Total Access. Mike, you had the news earlier today on the Insiders. It's getting pretty close. How close? Yeah, how close? They're within striking distance. Striking distance. You see Chargers, Lightning, see Bolt, did Strike. That's what I'm going for in this case. But it's not just a play on words. It is the situation as we face uh, things with Jim Harbaugh and the Los Angeles Chargers who are meeting for the second time, Harbaugh, in Los Angeles today uh, for this meeting. My understanding is it's a strong offer from the Los Angeles Chargers here. They still have that general manager position open. They, that's part of the conversation. Also, staffing, we're at the point now where if all the pieces are going to fit for both sides, it feels like something could get done here in the near future between the Chargers and Jim Harbaugh. Now, Michigan has made a strong effort to keep Harbaugh, but it's clear his intentions are to go to the NFL if the situation is right and to take a second interview now with the Chargers. It seemed like he's at least intrigued, Tom, to this point to have another conversation with the Chargers. The Chargers have always made the most sense of the possibilities if, in fact, Jim Harbaugh wants to come back to the NFL. But the Chargers also are not alone in pursuing him. My understanding is the Falcons are still hoping to meet with Jim Harbaugh, my understanding is that is a meeting that is tentatively set for Thursday. Obviously, that creates a little bit of a timetable here for the Chargers to potentially get something done or risk another NFL team swooping in. The Falcons, of course, also have met multiple times with legendary coach Bill Belichick. They continued meeting with different coaches today, including Raheem Morris, as Mike reported a short time ago. And they're setting up second interviews all the way out into next week. That doesn't necessarily mean the Falcons will take that long to make a decision here, but certainly after multiple meetings with Belichick, they hope a second meeting with Jim Harbaugh, they may be able to start zeroing in on what they intend to do while also acknowledging, Andrew, you still have Michigan out there that has continued negotiations with the guy who just led his alma mater to the national championship. Exactly. And there's been an offer there on the table for a while as they kind of go back and forth with that. As we bring it all kind of full circle back to the Chargers, they fired Brandon Staley and GM Tom Telesco 